All right, so this idea didn't work so well because I couldn't get something behind the wall to attach to. So it's still kind of moving like that. So I got to go get some finishing screws so I can bury the head and get that done. Molding went back on. The ceiling um, is done. It had one, two, three, and a spot here less. So tomorrow the ceiling will get primed regardless. And I think the woodwork might get done tomorrow too. Um, I finally got the thing in place to cover the pipe. So what I did is it just disappears behind the tub. And over here, it disappears behind the radiator. And the problem was, when they installed this heating system, the radiator is so close to the wall, I can't get it to go all the way to the corner. But that's good because if I try to put it here, the size of the square, it's going to stick out past this, and it's going to look even uglier. So you know what? Leave that like it is. Leave that like it is. It looks nice. It's uniform. When you walk in, at least you don't see a pipe going around the wall. And the squareness worked well here because the step is square. So that kind of fit. And uh, we'll leave that alone. So there you go. Tomorrow i got to go hunting for finishing screws. And they got to be at least, uh, this is half, quarter, three quarters, one inch. I say inch and a half. I might have some. And I need them super small. There might be like T15s or uh, T10s, uh, Torx drive. All right, so that's enough for today. Got pretty far. Whatever little gaps because of the uh, wall, I will fill first thing when I get here. And then I can prime the ceiling because to this surface and around here, it's already ready. Besides that, I need something to seal these cracks up. I need something for the primer, I mean, to stick to. And that will be the primer. Okay, see you on the next one.